All right, so I made um, a few videos on this kind of this whole thing, but um, basically what I'm doing is uh, we've got an '89 uh, or a 1990 Wrangler that had the 4.2 in it, and it uh, it's a friend of ours. And I was going to do a head gasket job on it, and then found a piston sitting sideways in the cylinder, and so we ended up uh, just going a whole new route. I went and picked up a uh, 4.0 out of a '97, and um, I rebuilt it. Let me take you over there and see that real quick. So here's that motor. Here, let me turn this down. Alright, so this is 97. It's got the uh, 0630 head on it, which is good. Um, I'm going to use all the accessories pretty much for the 4.2 on the front. Uh, at least that's what I'm going to do right now. I've been running into small issues with fitting stuff up. But so basically, I'm going to carburate this 4.0 using the intake from the 4.2 and using the exhaust from the 4 liter. Okay, so this whole thing, I rebuilt it, re ring, uh, re relapped the valves and put new seals in and stuff. You know, just a basic rebuild, all new bearings and stuff, gaskets. Um, I'm putting a, a HEI distributor on it. Um, and. For any of you doing this, if you've got a pre-92 block and you've got a manual transmission, um, or a, a post-92 block, sorry, and a pre-92 transmission, you're going to have a hard time finding a pilot bearing or bushing um, to go in the back of this crank. Because what you need is the AX-15 on pre-92 um, has a uh, 0.59 inch um, shaft and the um, the back of the crankshaft on a post 92 is one inch whereas the 4.2 um, and maybe some of the early 4.0s had a 1.055 inches which is about a almost two millimeter difference in size and so um, I'm guessing there's a uh, or I've heard Novak makes a bushing for it. Um, I'm machining one down that I got for Rock Auto. Um, and it's actually a bronze bushing. And so I'm just going to take a couple mil off to get it to the right size. But let's get back to this. So that's an issue that you have to deal with. But this is not what this video is pretty much about. Okay, so this is the intake from the 1990 4.2 carbureted. Um, and it has coolant running through it normally. I want the simplest design possible. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm plugging these holes. You can do it or you can run coolant through it if you really want to. Uh, to me, colder air going in uh, is a better way to do it. And plus, it just gets rid of a lot of the plumbing. You know, it's not needed. Um, you can argue about it, whatever. But I've done it with other intakes. Uh, and um, I'm, I, it's just what I'm going to do. So... These are usually sitting here like this. You got that one. You got this whole fucking thing of vacuum ports. You don't really need it. All I really need is for my um, PCV valve, and I need a vacuum. This, this one's going to go the brake master cylinder, or booster, sorry. And then I need one coming out of the carb to go over to the uh, distributor. I don't need 6,000 that were on this thing from the get go and, you know, 100 million sensors. So I'm uh, taking all this off, and these are. Uh, I got these from Menards. Uh, it's a 3.8 plug, uh, pipe thread fit. So I'm going to plug all those off. And then here, uh, I'm going to actually make a plate for this. And this is the um, choke tube comes down from uh, the exhaust, and I don't need that either. Um, so this is actually normally has a uh, pipe coming off of it. Uh, what I'm going to do is put a washer there. I'm going to weld it up, and then that basically will be a plug for right there. Uh, cutting this out, I took the gasket, cut that out. And I'm gonna put that right there to block that off, and then I can paint this whole thing. And if I want, if, if I do want some sort of heater, there, there is this pan heater that's on the bottom uh, that may help for cold winter starts. But the exhaust sits right under this, guys. So this is not like a normal intake where the exhaust is going to be on the other side of the head. You're getting plenty of heat within. 10 seconds of the vehicle starting. All this heat is going to be traveling up. So I, don't, I really just don't think this is does that much, you know. 
Um, so, but that's what I'm doing right now. So this is the first video. So we're going to use this car. We're going to pull these um, uh, studs off. Sorry. And then I've got a You got your adapter kit. This is the small two barrel carb to big two barrel carb. Um, they sell on eBay. I think this is about 18 bucks. Comes with the gaskets. And then I also got this awesome 2150 carb. Uh, I would not use a Weber on this setup. Some people do, and they, they may be lying to themselves and say they like it or something. But this is the much better carb to have. Um, it's a pretty simple carb. You know, they made a million of them. Uh, you bought this brand new, um, and uh, it's just going to work great. So uh, that's going to be going on there, like so. And then the HEI distributor is going to be on the other side. So this thing will be a very basic design um, and and reliable. So you know, because it's a 1990, is the reason why I'm taking a four liter, taking the EFI off, and putting the carburetor on it. Some people say that's you know that's a step backwards, but I don't want to switch all the wiring over from the newer 4.0 and, and put it in this Wrangler. Um, it just doesn't make any sense. This is carb from the factory. We keep it simple. Um, it's going to be way more reliable than the stock setup that had that just garbage. Uh, I don't even know if I have it here. I might have thrown it away the second I pulled it off. It had that Carter carb on it. Electronically nightmare piece of shit. Um, so, yeah, so this is the first part. I'm going to plug all this stuff up, clean this intake up, pull these studs off, paint it. Um, and then when I go to put all this stuff on, you'll see my updated video. Um, again, the exhaust manifold we're going to be using, this is from the 97. It's a much better design than that thing from uh, the 1990. Um, this does have one leak right here, which I notice a lot of them do, so I'm just going to weld that up, paint this up, and uh, I'll do an, uh, another video. That's it for now.